What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we're going to be continuing to work on the house. Now, in this episode, we should be able to get this done so much faster because I don't have to go through and collect a thousand logs to build one portion of the roof in this video. So in the last video, we somehow managed to get over 70 views in just 16 hours, which is, it's actually mind boggling to me that I managed to even get four people to watch this. So thank you guys so much. You have no idea how much that means to me. And if you like this video, go ahead, uh, like, subscribe, and comment if you want to. It, it means the world to me to see that people are actually enjoying the content that I upload and actually care. It's, I don't know, it's just crazy to me. So, as we all know, on the map over here, somewhere this way, there is some sort of weird temple structure. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sort of whack through the bush here and collect enough wood to just finish out this bit, you know, give it a little bit of a roof, get that interior done, a tiny little bit, just done up enough where it's presentable. And then, if we have enough time, we're going to explore that crazy cave. Alright, I'm going to go ahead, get this wood. And then we'll see how it goes. Look at it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Hang on, can I? Will it take cinnamon? Oh, it won't. That's still so cool. That's why I love this mod pack. I really recommend that if you guys have a computer that can run it, play this. Have fun with it. It is so cool. In the next couple videos, I plan on implementing some shaders to make the game look a little bit better and sort of improve the visuals for you guys watching on the other end and to make it just that little bit more beautiful when we can take a look at shots of the house. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look and just sort of figure out everything that I need to get done with this interior, head to bed, and then we can begin work. Alright, so... Here is what I'm thinking for the interior of the house. Upstairs in this area, we're going to put a more traditional sort of attic that we can use for just basic storage, simple stuff really, nothing that is actually all that important. And then we'll also have a basement area. So we'll have a transition area, most likely using one of these posts. That's probably not going to work out fully. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to build out a bedroom area where it'll be able to... Jeez, goodness. Sorry, I'm losing track of my own thoughts here. All right, so the bedroom area here will have a ladder running up this side and it'll have a ladder running down this side to sort of provide an asymmetrical look also gives full functionality. And then over here, in this area, and against this wall, is going to be the living room slash kitchen area. Because in this mod, there is, I'm not even kidding, if I looked at it right, yep, there is furniture. So there's full on lamps, there is so much stuff that I can do and I can use that I can make this house look really quite awesome. So I'm going to go ahead, get to work on fleshing out the building, and I'll get back to you guys in just a minute. Also, if you guys would like and would actually care, I could start, you just got to let me know in the comments, I could start doing montages, I guess, or sorry, not a montage, a time lapse of exactly how the house is getting built and how the whole thing sort of comes together. If you would like, we can implement that. Just let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys in just a minute. So I had a slight change of plans for the um, attic. So instead of having the 
entrance right here by my bedroom area, I decided that I would make it right here. Because this leads perfectly up onto the wall, and it would allow me to do a much more sort of interesting design with a trap door that can also act almost as a shutter for the window on the outside. Or it's, sorry, it'll act like a shutter. Oh my goodness. It'll act like a shutter for the window that's going to be right up there on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead, keep working, and I'll check in in a couple minutes. So after eh, eh, 20 minutes of really monotonous sand punching, I have managed to get all the glass I need and finally placing up the last bits. And then we can go ahead and start moving in. So I'm going to sort of explain what I'm doing as I'm doing it. So the reason why I'm not, I guess, immediately going after placing furniture and getting everything all furnished is I don't want to almost bore you guys with that when there's so much more that I could get done, right? So last episode, first episode in a series, right? You know, that's always the one where YouTuber has to go through, they have to explain everything, they have to figure out exactly what they're doing themselves. And so what I need to do now that I have the whole thing basically figured out is obviously need to go on an adventure. I mean, what other choice do I have? Especially with such a massive mod pack, why wouldn't I, right? You know, there's so much possibility in just a simple game like this. I guess as simple as, well, it's not simple at all, actually. I mean, like, look at this, okay? There's cinnamon. I don't even know what that's used for, but it's here. I have cinnamon. I don't really know what to do with it, but I'll figure something out. I mean, it's very possible that I could make, like, snickerdoodle cookies in this mod pack. I wouldn't even know it because, I don't know, you know, it's such a massive mod. There are current, okay, just in the crafting menu, there are 77 pages of just items. Like, what are glo- like, why are there globes? There, there's, there's checkered blo- there's vertical slabs, there's end stone lamps, which are basically just modified in this version. Like, there, there's- I have the ability to blow bubbles, there's candy canes, there's so much stuff. I mean, this series could run for a year, and I still wouldn't have explored everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and sort of get everything that I have moved in, and then we're gonna go try and explore that little area. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, so the new plan, I guess, sorry, not the new plan, the next order of business is to explore that. And at some point, build an orchard over here. But, oh, look at that. You can see where I've walked. That's sick. Okay, so, I want to explore this. To be quite honest with you, no idea what it is. So, we're going to go there. We're going to see what it is. There's a high possibility I die, but this series isn't on hardcore, so it doesn't particularly matter if I die. It'd just be kind of annoying because I'd lose out on all the food that I brought, which is irritating, but certainly not the end of the world, and that's obviously why I'm taking it with me, instead of being like, oh no, I don't need to take any of it, oh. Well, so there's already plenty of mobs. As you can see here on the mini-map, it locates all the mobs, so it tells me that I am very likely going to die here. Whoa. I think I found one of the goals for the series. Restore the temple. 
That's it. Yup. This is sick. Okay, well this is obviously some kind of... Maybe. I wouldn't say this is obviously some kind of door. There's an entrance around here somewhere. Oh. Well, I guess I found it. Okay, there's note blocks everywhere. And I'm not quite sure what they're for. Wow. This is sick. I've never seen this before. Ooh, okay. I haven't found a lot of valuables, so... Actually, I found no valuables. I don't really know if this is, like, a lootable structure, or if it is just a structure. Because I think that there are certain structures that are just non-lootable. They don't have loot in general in them. Which is fine. I would just prefer to be able to sort of get something out of all this. I thought that was a creeper. Oh my gosh, this place is going to make me lose my mind. This place is awesome. Again, I'll include a link to the mod pack in the description as always. Because I really, you guys should give this a try. It's wonderful. Whoa. Wait. No way. You have got to be kidding. Boys, we are set on iron. There is... Oh my goodness. That is a lot of iron. What? I... You know what? Scratch what I said about this structure being non-lootable. This is... One of the coolest things that I've seen so far. And I've been playing this mod pack for like... Two days. That's it. Okay. So, apart from sealing all the loot from the um, previous owners... What else can I do? Here. Oh, more iron. So, this almost feels like cheating. I've got to be honest. But at the same time, I am not exactly op opposed to what just happened here. Oh, man. I'll have to take a look at the guide for this mod pack later. And just sort of see what they say about what the structure is. Or even if there is any lore behind it. Because it's very possible that this is just a structure. Oh, wow. Oops. Well. That's kind of annoying. I kind of just screwed up the thing. Oh. It's actually kind of upsetting, actually. Believe it or not. Ooh, so there's lava down here. So that's interesting. Oh my gosh, wow. Ooh, 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 back up, bud. Yeah, that's right. This place is a maze. Okay. Is another one dead? Yikes, okay. Oh! Sorry for not talking all that much, but... Oh, man, it's like really intense to get this stuff done. Why are they attacking? Actually, I should be really thankful that the... Mobs in this game are always kind of somewhat bugged. Whoa. Okay. I 
I can't tell if those are decorative. Sorry, decorative. Or if they are like some sort of like redstone type deal. Whoa. Interesting. Well, this is interesting. Yeah, whoa, this is sick. Okay, so I have to like transition across, right? And then I have to move across, move across, get caught in this, break that, and then keep moving. Whoa. So I guess I'm on the next floor. Unless I'm not. This loops back on itself somehow. Gonna have me some grapes. I'm pretty sure I can make wine in this game. Ooh! Okay. Whoa. Whoa. I wonder if those are like some kind of like wicker. That's a charged creeper. What the? Nope. Okay. So this place is sick and I really do think it's cool. But to be quite honest with you, I'm not ready for this. I have the protection of a baby turtle against some seagulls. This is not something that I can get done right now. So I'm going to go ahead, head back to the house. If I can never find it. Oh. Maybe I won't. Okay. So. Here's the new plan. I'm going to sleep for the night. Okay. And then I'm going to break in. Once I'm in, it's get in, get out. There is no, no, you know, like, don't pass go, don't collect $200, there's none of that. It's just in and out as fast as possible because I don't want to lose that. And I would kind of like my torches back. But then after that, I think I'm just going to go back to sort of just chilling and uh, making more furniture for the place. I don't even know what... To Okay, you know what? I want to get some audience input. What do you guys think that I should call this building? Because this is truly one of the weirdest structures that I've ever encountered in Minecraft. Even in modded Minecraft. But I obviously want it to be called something cool, something memorable. Something that's going to be sort of specific to us on this channel. So, I want you guys to... Nope! Nope, 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 nope. I want you guys to go ahead and leave a comment below saying what you think that we should call this place. Because this is really incredible and I don't even know what to begin to call this place. Die. No, 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 no. Alright. So, um, you know what? I think I'm going to call that the Temple of No Return. So, I'm going to go ahead, guys, and wrap this video up here. I know it's not a very satisfying conclusion, but I'm afraid that it's just not going to work out today. So, in the next episode, we are going to continue working on the house, and then at some point... I managed to get enough gear to actually get back in there. You better believe that they better watch out. But, until I see you guys again, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below saying what you want me to call the temple, saying if you want to see any time lapses of the building and exploring that I'll have done. And just in general, if you want to see more content, Drop a like, hit subscribe, and ring that bell so that way you guys don't miss the next time I upload. Thank you all so much for watching, and have a good day.